What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to 2D render a house using Photoshop. And if you guys want to follow along and you don't have Photoshop, you can click the link in my description to download it for now. And if for whatever reason, if you don't want Photoshop anymore, you can always cancel your subscription. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, obviously, is open your PDF of your line drawing. So after you open that file, I like to change the layer names to keep everything organized. So we'll change that to line. Then I'm going to use the crop tool just to open up my boundaries a little bit. Then I'm going to make a new layer and I'll call this background. And this is just going to be a white background. So make sure you pick pure white, select the paint bucket tool here on the left, and just tap your screen anywhere. Just make sure you're on the background layer when you do it. Okay, I'm just going to double up the line layer so it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, so now drag and drop in uh, one of your materials. You can get these material textures from Google or other websites. I'll actually link a website in my description of where I got my textures from. Okay, to change the proportion of a material or an object like this, you want to be on the move tool and you also want to make sure your show transform controls is on and checked off. So if you look on the top left, that little box there, make sure that's checked off so you can get all the points. And then once you click these points and drag them, it'll actually make it larger or smaller. And if you hold shift, it does it so it keeps the proportion of the material the same as you drag it. So with the magic wand tool, select the area where you want the material to show. Then you're going to want to select the inverse, make sure you click the material, and then press delete. This will basically delete anything except what you selected. And then while you're on the layer, you can also change the brightness and things like the saturation and stuff like that. Just by going to image and then adjustments. Okay, so now drop in your second material and place it over. And the idea is to just place the material and then merge copies of the material until it covers the surface that you need. So we can also change the color balance using this tool. and you know the brightness and saturation and stuff like that. Okay, so now once we have like the desired color and everything, we can just copy it and then we're going to merge these two together. Make sure all the lines match up. And then basically just copy and merge. And then make sure the whole material is covering the entire surface. And then turn it off so you can see. Select the line layer. And then select the magic wand. Select the area and then select inverse, then hit the wood layer, and press delete. Okay, so now for our third layer, we're going to do the same thing. So orientate it the right way. Okay, so I'm just going to delete that excess, and I'm going to merge them, and then I'm just going to stretch this in so it fits here. Okay, 
Okay. Okay, so now let's turn off the layer so we can see. Select the line layer, and then select the area where you want that paneling to show. Select the inverse, then select the layer of the paneling, and press delete. I'm just gonna make this a little bit darker. Okay, so for all the window and the door trim, I usually just make a box and then I'll paint this a solid color. So let me just make a new layer and call it window. And I'm gonna select the paint bucket tool, select my color that I want, and just hit inside that box. And then make sure the window layer is under everything besides the background. Then you're gonna wanna hit the line layer, select the magic wand tool, and select on the outside of the entire drawing. This will select everything else, and then just press delete so we delete all that stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to select where all the glass is. And I'll delete that from the window layer. And you could change the lightness to this color. Make it more gray or more white. Okay, so now drop in a background image, and this will act as a reflection to the windows. This makes it look a little bit more interesting and uh, more realistic. Okay, then with the magic wand tool, just select all of the window areas. Make sure you're on the line layer so it confines to that space and select inverse and you're going to want to rasterize this layer so that you can edit it so just right click and then hit rasterize and hit delete okay so there's a few ways to make this look a little bit better you can change the opacity or what i usually do is add a black layer to the back of the windows and then i'll slowly lighten the opacity of the actual background layer like the, the tree background layer okay so to add a black layer behind the window go to the line layer and select everywhere where glass is then make a new layer, and on that new layer just hit anywhere and it'll color the window. Then on the actual tree background image, lower the opacity so it gets a little bit darker or a little bit lighter. And then I also add an inner glow to the background image just to make like a little black indent so it looks like the glass is inset into the door or the window. And you can open up this menu by double clicking on the layer. So next up is shadowing. Okay, so hit the box select tool and select the area where you want shade. So if you click and hold the paint bucket tool, the gradient will come up. And if you look at the top, you see the image where it's kind of like the black shade goes into like the checkerboard looking thing. That's the setting you want. So if you hold shift, the shade will actually come off on a 90 degree angle and this is what you want. So you can hold shift and then click and then drag down and this will create a straight 90 degree shade. So just do that everywhere you think there should be shade. I'm gonna put some shade here as well. Okay. 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 
Then I like to add a baseline so it kind of grounds the building. So just go to the paint bucket tool, make a new layer. And I usually make this like a really dark color. Just call this uh, ground. And this line kind of blends into the paneling, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker. Okay, and that's it. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to see future content, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.